Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Automation Morning Show for Monday, March 20th, 2023. I hope you had a great weekend. My name is Sean Tierney, and we'll start off today's show by taking a look at what's new in industrial automation. And first up, we have a press release from Festo, and Festo is announcing a new online electric motion sizing tool. So they're EMS, and uh, they actually have a link here to a video that goes through it, and I thought it was actually pretty interesting and it looked like uh, if you're going to need one of their uh, electric motion products then it will be uh, very helpful to help you pick out the right product you put in your parameters it'll sort through the products and then you can go to the details of each so very interesting and uh, congratulations to festo for coming out with that next up we have a new product from pnf this is what they call their rfid made simple So this is a new UHF read-write device with I.O. link, which I thought was really cool. It's the F191. And uh, there's an excellent video here that goes through all the features of this device. And so if you want to know more, click on that. We also had Festo on the show here recently to go over RFID technology and their product line. So if you're listening and not watching, that was podcast 112 of the Automation Podcast, episode 112. And uh, I really think RC did a great job on this. And uh, we hope to have him back on shortly. I've been talking to him about coming back on. So um, really great stuff. So if you have anybody maybe new on your staff or if you want to get into RFID, check out that podcast and check out their new product. From there, we go over to the Turk site. And I thought I'd seen this announcement already. And this is kind of like a re-announcement of their RFID system for forklifts. And um, there is actually another uh, announcement like this a month or several weeks ago. And um, so I, I, I thought it was strange that they announced the same product twice. I didn't really see the differences except for slight wording differences in the, uh, in the press releases. But um, in any case, we'd love to get somebody from Turk on to talk about their products. From there, we have a new product announcement from SMC. And this is a new edition of their dual rod cylinder. Now, this one thing I like about SMC is that they're constantly trying to keep the cost of their products the same, but also improve them over time. So they're constantly trying to engineer and re-engineer them to make them better and better. And that's kind of one of their core principles, right? And so here you can see no different, right? That uh, this new version, the CXS2, is seven times seven times the allowable kinetic energy over the CXS, and also has 2.6 times the max piston speed. So if you're looking for any dual rod cylinders, um, definitely check these out uh, over at SMC's website. From there, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Siemens, for sponsoring a month of the morning show. And um, really appreciate them. Uh, If you know any vendors who would like to sponsor us, please reach out to them because uh, it'll help us bring you more news and more product how-tos. That said, Siemens isn't just sponsoring the show. They sent in a whole box of goodies. So I put some of them out here. This is the grand prize. And um, you'll get some of all of this. I'm trying to do, uh, trying to maybe get some more of uh, some of these items so I can do two grand prizes. But in any case, you can see everything here. You get the baseball hat. You get the baseball. You get the um, uh, screen wipes. I love keeping one of these on the side of my desk and the side of my easy chair to clean off my screens. We have a cup, a coffee cup. Um, we have a pad and we have these great mechanical pencils with the soft tip that you can use as a, uh, as a touch point. But um, it has this ruler on it. I love these pens. Um, then we have the 128 megabyte, um, gigabyte, not megabyte, 128 megabyte, gigabyte um, USB sticks. And uh, then we have the power packs too. So if your phone dot is running out of power, like if you're at a trade show like MIA, and um, your phone's running out of power, you just plug it into your portable power pack. So we got a whole box of this stuff to give away. And um, so we'll have uh, uh, hopefully a couple of first prizes and a bunch of second and third prizes. And uh, all you have to do to register, registration is free. Uh, um, entering the contest is free. And you can do so every workday during the month um, that Siemens sponsoring us. And you just click on the contest link over at automate.news or go to the automationblog.com forward slash contest and fill in this form. The one thing that changes every day, and we do this to make sure only people who watch the show actually submit the form, is we have a uh, contest keyword. And today's contest keyword is cymatic. Now, you may notice I used reused that from last week. So I'm not very inventive here this morning, this Monday morning. But in any case, uh, if you're driving, 
don't worry about having the pronunciation and everything correct, right? Just think, Psy, S-I as in Siemens, Matic. And uh, so if you're listening, don't worry about being 100% correct. We're not out to get anybody. And I just want to thank everybody. There's been several people who have been filling this form in every day and uh, really, really appreciate your enthusiasm. And I can't wait to send you guys some goodies at the uh, end of the month. So with that, we'll go over to a new article. It wasn't a lot of articles when I uh, checked everything out over the weekend. But um, in any case, I did find this one uh, from last week, which I thought was really good. This is a couple of uh, WWT's OT security experts went to S4. Now, we've had WWT on the show before. They do a lot with networking, and they have OT experts. And these experts went to S4, which is, uh, they're saying, probably one of the largest uh, uh, and most advanced ICS cybersecurity events in the world. Sounds like something I would enjoy going to and just learning from all these experts. But in any case... um, What they did here, they kind of go through what they did and uh, what was discussed. You can see a picture here. There was over a thousand people there. And, um, you know, it really seems interesting. I did latch on to one thing in the article, though, I wanted to share with you. And I definitely recommend you check this article out. But uh, it says uh, some of the some of the things that uh, are seem to be immovable uh, laws in, in this space is thou shall not transfer data directly between level four and level three. So we're talking about the Purdue model there. Um, thou shall not use the internet on the manufacturing floor, i.e. you'll have, the whole world will have direct access to your manufacturing floor if you do that. And thou shall only operate on premises. You don't operate machines like George Jetson from your home. I think even George went into the office to operate it in the machinery. So you only operate machines. I always th- thought that you never operated something without line of sight to what you were doing. And uh, so great article. I wanted to share it with you, especially if you're into uh, OT security. So from there, we go over to our product uh, spotlight product of the day. And uh, today I'm spotlighting my Logix book of knowledge. So if you want to support the show and support our work here, um, you can pick up a copy of this book for $9.99. It's a lifetime copy. I do hope to update it next year. Um, now, some people are asking, well, Sean, tell us more about this. Well, first of all, I took all of my control Logix articles on the automationblog.com and I cleaned them up. I had a ton of new pictures, right, to get them high quality. And I created an ebook, and you can get that ebook for 10 bucks at theautomationblog.com forward slash BOK1. The next question I get is, well, give me a list of articles. And so if you just scroll down here, you can see every single article that's in the book. And again, some of these articles, you know, I've never published because they're about uh, things that I've only done maybe videos on in the past. So, you know, this is, I try to think through exactly what you would need to kind of have a go-to how-to for control logics. And so you can see everything there. Now, I do have an update plan for next year um, where I'm going to expand it and fill in some of the holes. And, you know, I think uh, as I do my course, as I've been kind of going through the, the agenda for my updated control logics course this summer, um, there's some holes in this uh, book I'd like to fill. So in any case, if you buy it today, you will get that. Uh, update completely free of charge. And again, this is on control logics. I hope someday to do one on compact logics and micro logics and S7 and all that. But um, this is what we have available today. Again, the automationblog.com forward slash BOK1. From there, I want to go over to what's new in school, what's new in insights. And um, this weekend, I took the table out. I had to plug all the monitors and everything. I got a couple monitors here. You can't see them off uh, so I can actually pull them over and do work. But um, so I unplugged everything. I dragged this over to the other side of the room. There's not much room over there in Studio B. But uh, so I was trying to get everything set up to take a picture of the studio so I could use it as a backdrop at a trade show. And um, long story short, all the pictures I took, the quality wasn't good enough. Even at 24 megapixels in 4K, um, it wasn't good enough for a backdrop. Everything looks kind of blurry. So, but in any case, it looks great at 1920. Um, so in any case, here's a picture right here at the automation. Uh, blog. You can take a look at the full-size picture. You can see here that um, everything above this line here, the f- top three rows are all um, uh, products that were sampled to us. So you got the HMIs here at the top on the shelf. You got the AB contactors. You get the Wago, the RTA, the Red Lion, the Automation Networks. I just got this in. I was surprised to see it come in from... Um, uh, from uh, ProSoft, it's the ANX4 that we talk about in a coming upcoming podcast. Um, you get IFM. We get some new stuff from IFM too. I did not get to mount that. Um, 
We got uh, SMC. We got Cost Cut Siemens. Been so great to the channel. We got uh, uh, PLC Next. We from uh, Phoenix Contact. We got Moxa. We got Mitsubishi. We got PLC Direct. Hoping to have them on the show. And then anything down here below that's uh, not Siemens is stuff I bought. So most of the stuff I bought secondhand. I did buy the Micro 800s and Micrologix 1000s brand new. But everything else was bought, uh, oh, in the uh, 5380. That's when they used to have the experience kit. Great deal that was. Man, I wish they would have kept that around. But uh, so any, if it's not Siemens, you can see I bought that all myself. So we're depreciating the stuff I bought to really just thank our sponsors who, you know, and the people send us in samples, you know. So and we're not taking free samples anymore because playing with free stuff is just, it, it doesn't put any money on the table. And we have still have a pile of free stuff that we haven't gotten to. I kind of feel guilty, but it's like, Keeping the lights on is comes in first, right? We got to keep the lights on and keep paying the bills or else we won't be here. So in any case, I did want to share that picture with you. Now you may notice uh, this is slightly different than the uh, than the picture on the background for the website. Um, the bat one on the website I took Saturday and I did not have some of the new products up, but I didn't have this glare either here. So the website has such a slightly older picture, but um, only a couple of pieces here missing. But the, the, I didn't have that light on over there, so I didn't get the glare. All right, so that's what's new in school, what's new at Insights. And now I want to go over to a podcast. Now, this podcast is not very technical, but I did enjoy it. It was a, it was very, uh, it was a very uh, interesting conversation. It's from Honeywell. It's on the Doc Warehouse and digit, Digitization. Let me see if I can say that again. Digitization. Blah. So in any case, um, I thought it was a very uh, enjoyable conversation to listen to. It was not very technical. But, hey, if you're looking for something to listen to and you're out of stuff, you can uh, come over here and grab that at Honeywell's website. And from there, we go over to events. Now, there are many new events coming on the 28th of March and next week, so I want to cover them. The first one is at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on March 28th. It's uh, actually... uh, Obviously, MDT is going to be on Industry Week's podcast, and they're going to be talking about OT version control. So you may want to check that out. Next, we have, I believe this is at 11 o'clock on the 28th. It's another online free event um, about safety over EtherCAT. Okay. And then also on the 28th, if you do anything with sound monitoring, like level, measuring the level of sound to make sure you're meeting OSHA requirements for your hearing protection or whatnot, there's a, uh, it's an HBK company that's having an introduction to the new sound meters. So this is at 10 p.m. Eastern on the 28th. Again, a free uh, seminar. And from there, we go over to a hands-on unit. Now, if you're in the Detroit area, uh, this is going to be held in Pontiac, Michigan, at the Auburn Hills Marriott Pontiac location. This is a free IO-Link user workshop. Okay, it runs from 8.30 to 4, and this is on the 30th of March. So um, very interesting. Um, they're going to be doing uh, some uh, workshop, hands-on, all kinds of stuff. You can uh, There'll be uh, presentations and discussions about the technology. So I don't see anywhere where it says actual hands-on. But it says it's a training class, user workshop. So they say it'll help you be able to apply IO Link in your own projects. So with that... Um, there's one other event I want to talk to you about. It's an event I will be at. It's Manufacturing in America. It's also in Detroit. It's April 12th and 13th. So if you are coming, I have I have not put in my automate.news, but before the end of today at automate.news, I think that's Randy, <laughs> um, I will have the links that you can register and they'll know you're registering because you want to you want to say hi to me and also attend the event. So I can know how many business cards and goodies to give have there from Insights and Automation to give away to folks who uh, who register using my link. So um, this is a great event. And if you're a sports fan, there's all kinds of stuff going on to do with the um, to do with Four Field as well. So they're going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff too. There's a hospitality event. So um, if you're going to be in the area or can make it out, April 12th. So we're getting we're getting quick. Uh, it's coming up quick, right? Um, Please uh, check it out. I will be there. I'm not driving anymore. I think I've told you about the problems with my car, so it's parked. But uh, I will be there, and um, I won't have the big backdrop. Of course, it didn't work out with the picture anyways. It wasn't high enough high enough resolution to be able to print up on a full-size uh, backdrop. But in any case, I'll be there. I'll have a table skirt. I'll have insights and automation on it. And uh, hopefully we'll add some more color to it. And uh, 
you know, just hope to meet you there. And I'm going to be doing interviews. I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, meet and greets. I'm going to have hopefully brand, brand new business cards to hand out and uh, just hope to see you there. So again, later today after lunch, you'll find those links at automate.news to sign up for MIA and uh, with my link. So I'll know you how many people are going to be there. Everybody who signs up with my link, I'm going to have some type of giveaway to uh, to give you um, for uh, for stopping by and saying hi. So with that, uh, in the pub crawl, I only found one manual, but this is interesting. I didn't know Siemens had a, a Modbus gateway. It's a CM101. And this, from what I gather, is from a Modbus TCP to Modbus RTU. So if you are a Siemens user, you may be interested in this. And from there, we go over to the community corner. And we always start with birthdays. So if today is your birthday, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. If your birthday was over the weekend, I also want to wish you a very happy birthday. Now, if you're connected with me and you have your birthday in your profile on LinkedIn, then you show up at my birthday list, and I want to wish you all a very personal happy birthday, including Elmar, Rakesh, Rano, Agra, Parish, Oder, Ab, Clinton, David, Jesus, Joshua, Nitesh, Grant, Jose, Billy, Musamil, Ernesto, Jerry, Timothy, Ambu, Craig, Dale, and John. Now, if I mispronounce your name, my apologies, but I do want to wish you all a very happy birthday today. And from there, we go over to automation.locals.com. Now, you can follow me here for free, or you can support my work and everything we do here at Insights and Automation, starting at one cup of coffee a month. And that unlocks the ability to post, ability to comment, and the ability to send me direct messages here. And from there... We go over to a reminder that you can submit news using the news tip at automate.news. You can submit news or feedback. So feel free to use that link. And also, if you're talking to your vendors, encourage them to sponsor our show because it enables us to bring you more news and free product how-tos. So, uh, and if they want to sponsor the morning show and do a giveaway like Siemens is doing, that's cool too, right? We love giving away stuff. From there, we go over to, just a reminder, it's not, there's no www and there's no .com. It's simply automate.news. And that's our industrial automation news aggregate website. And you can see our sponsors ad up here. You'll also see it at the automationblog.com. And you'll see links to everything we've covered today. Now, I also want to say that if you click on the show link there, you will see all the previous shows. So if you want to get up to speed on everything that we covered in the previous weeks, you can do so there. And if you click on those, you will not only find the video, which is automatically closed captioned in English, you'll also find the audio and links to every place we send the video and audio, including like YouTube and Rumble and iTunes and Amazon Music and so on. And with that, I just want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me to get up to speed on what's new in industrial automation. And I want to wish you a very happy, healthy, and safe day. And until next time, my friends, Peace.